Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Sunday, which means a new video, and welcome back to Guess the Reference. This is episode five. Damn, we're on five episodes now. This is going so, so well. I just wanna say a quick thank you if you've been watching Guess the Reference so far. Like, if you had told young 18, how old was I when I made Mocking Gary on a Free? It was only like a year ago. Um, I, I don't know, younger me, that just from people saying oh you should make a channel to talk about your opinions on the next step i'd be talking to actual cast members i wouldn't have believed you um so that you just thank you so much because i'm literally like living my dream i feel so successful i i didn't like yeah I'll, i get emotional if i carry on talking about it but thank you just so much anyway if you haven't watched guest the reference before though and you're just here because you saw the title and maybe you're a big fan of the guest that's in today's episode um guess the reference is a quiz that i have created by myself it's no affiliation with the bbc with cbbc the next step cbc or abc um it's literally just me created it and thankfully people have wanted to take part and compete against each other um so there's four rounds to my quiz the first round is called get to know you and there's different questions all based on the actor themselves the second round is guess the reference and all the questions are relation to the character that the actor plays on the next step um the third round is fan asked questions so that's still about the character but i haven't wrote the questions the fans have um then the fourth round is one singular question that's really obscure and they might not get it unless they're playing paying proper attention when they were filming and when they were acting. So today's guest we have joined the next step in season six. They were brought on the team to bring a little bit of pop and sizzle. They, you know, were told to show Henry what some real acro was. They were Davis's friend, Jackie's friend, Rochelle's friend for a little bit until, you know, she's on the door in her face. Emily Tinglin, aka Kenzie on the next step. Okay, so your first question, how many Instagram highlights do you currently have? You know, I watched the last video, you'd think I'd go and count mine. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't want people to cheat and be like, oh, I'm just going to learn all these questions that have already been asked. That's what I'm saying. I was like, you'd think I'd learn. Okay, so we got food, TNS, friends, dance, raptors, and me. So I'm going to say six. You actually have ten. I have ten highlights? <laughs> Yeah, you have to click and like scroll along. You've got 10. I'll read them to you. Let me get you on your Instagram. Uh, okay, you've got food, friends, links, meh, workouts, raptors, YouTube, TNS, dance, and nails. <laughs> I'm even embarrassed. <laughs> right, well, that's the first one. <laughs> Doing great. We're off to a great start, Emily, really. What is listed on the third line of your Instagram bio? Third line. So we got my subscribers, and then we have. Whoa! Does my name count? No, not your name. Just, just the bio. Subscribers, and then it says. <laughs> Acting and dancing. What's my third line? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting stressed. We're off to an excellent start, really. <laughs> Literally. Oh, is it NBA dancer, Toronto Raptors? Yes, NBA dancer, Toronto Raptors. Okay, question three. How tall does it say that you are on your IMDb? Um, 5'4". Yes. See, sometimes it tricks you out because you think, is it going to be true or not? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, question four. We're going to talk about your YouTube channel a little bit. Okay. Okay. So on your YouTube about section. Okay. When does it say you joined YouTube? And you can answer with just the month and the year. I don't need the exact day. <laughs> I know it's 2008 or is it 2009? <laughs> Bearing in mind, it doesn't go off the date of your first video. It literally is when you made the account. Exactly. So just... I think... I'm going to say 2008, the month, October. <laughs> you were like eight years off, I'm afraid. Stop. It's 2016. <laughs> My Twitter is 2008, October. Ah. <laughs> Dang it. Not close at all. Guys, we're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, question five. What was the first YouTube video uploaded? Oh, I got this one. It was a day in my life, the Raptors video. Yeah, it's vlog number one, Toronto versus Orlando round one. Yeah. So yeah. We move on to the reference round. So all of these questions are about Kenzie instead of being about Emily. So. If you're a legend, get your game face on. In the first off season, the scholarship, who says that they want Kenzie to replace Rochelle if she doesn't return? If Rochelle doesn't come back to HU, that's why I want on the team. There's no way anybody can replace Rochelle. She's really good. Right here, know me right now. Wants me to replace her? Yeah. Um, Noah, Kingston. Yes, Kingston. What does Angela say Kenzie can bring to the team when she introduces her in season six, episode one? This is Finn and Kenzie. They're great for pop and sizzle. I know it's my acro tricks because I tumble. Was it flair? It, it's along those lines. Think more Angela terms. <laughs> I, mean, I know it's literally there. What did she say? <laughs> flair? No, it wasn't flair. It's uh, tricks. Come on, <laughs> inner Angela, come out. Sass? No, it's pop and sizzle. Pop and sizzle. <laughs> I knew it started with an S because I was like, sass style. Which row? does Kenzie get put onto in season six, episode five? All right, our middle row from left to right, we have Amy, Kenzie, Rochelle, and then Jackie. Oh, um, second, I was in the second line. Yeah, middle row, yeah. What song does Kenzie do a solo to in season six, episode 22? just gonna come up and I still did learn the song. <laughs> falling, falling apart, falling. Uh, uh. I think it's falling apart, right? It's falling behind. <laughs> so I'll give you half a point for it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, half the song is just, I'm falling be behind, I'm falling, falling behind. In season six, episode 16, who does Kenzie say takes her to the gym to do boxing? On our spare time, my dad takes me to the gym and we spar a little. It's really fun. My dad? Yes. Do you want to know a fun fact? Uh, question six. I am so sorry, Emily. <laughs> I just full on blanked her. No, I'll, t I'll tell you the reason so you no one thinks I'm rude, okay? On the Discord call, there is a slight delay. So it delayed. I didn't even hear her ask me if I want to hear a fun fact. And I just carried on. I'm always a bad host in every single video for some reason. This is my reason for this one. <laughs> Emily, if you want to comment down below your fun facts so everyone can hear it, then please do. What does Emily scold Kenzie for doing in season seven, episode one? If you could help me one Kenzie? There's no yelling in Studio A. <laughs> um, yelling in the studio. Yes, yelling in Studio A. In season seven, episode five, what is Kenzie's alibi for where she was during the power outage? So where were you when the power went out? Where? I was in the hall talking with Henry. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was talking to Henry. Yeah, where were you? You were talking to Henry. Where were they talking? In the hall? Yes, in the hall talking to Henry. That's good. <laughs> I'm doing it, guys. <laughs> Question eight. Who's behind the scenes video does Kenzie tell Heath that they have to watch? So when they're watching all the Dance Mania videos in the next steep, who does she insist that they have to watch? Behind the scenes of Jasmine from Dance Mania. We have to watch that one. Okay, we can watch this last behind the scenes, okay? That was good. That was good. Was it Talia? No, it's Javin. I said those words? I said that name? Yeah! <laughs> Seven in the morning, almost eight in the morning. I actually remember that scene very vividly. I don't remember saying those words ever. Got it. Okay, question nine. <laughs> How long did Kenzie and Heath spend watching the Dance Mania videos? You know when you click on a video, and then another video, and then another one, and then soon it's been an hour. We did that like three hours ago. Three? Yes, three, yes. Okay, your final question for this round. In season seven, episode 21, 
How many times does Kenzie indicate that she wants to switch bed with Summer? Although, I do usually use the bathroom in the middle of the night, so I think we should switch beds. There's a bit of a draft. Do you mind if we switch one more time? Um, what? Nothing. This bed's fine. I'm trying to remember how they cut it. I know it's because I had to use the bathroom. I like to be close to the bathroom. Uh -huh. The squeakiness. I think there was... I'm gonna say three. I think that's how they cut it. Yes, yes, it's free. <laughs> Okay, wicked. So we're going to move on to the questions from fans now. Okay, so they're the same. They're still about Kenzie. It's just I haven't wrote the questions. The fans have. If you're a legend, get your game face on. So I asked on Instagram this morning, before you're probably even awake, because I'm five hours ahead of you. <laughs> so uh, the first one is from Tilly underscore Hope XO. What song did Kenzie do a duet with Finn to? in season six. Kenzie has some pretty sick moves. I don't know why Ozzy thought she needed help. That was my first day on set ever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I can do the dance for you right now, but I can't tell you the song. <laughs> it was a fusion. I know it, it was started off a little slow. And then we started to actually get up and dance. I don't remember yeah. it, guys. I, I literally don't even have a song in my head. Okay, it's That's How I Know. I would have never gotten that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question two is from Ainsley.Rose14. In season seven, episode three, what are the three things that Kenzie lists as you needing to have in order to be a good dance captain? Be a dance captain, you need to be tough, uncompromising, and a great leader. I'm three for three. Uh... <laughs> Do you know what's frustrating? When you know the exact scene, but you're like, what did I say? Technique? No. <laughs> I definitely knew, because Ken- what? Um, sass, maybe, is one of them? No. <laughs> cool, I'm doing great. <laughs> one more, one more. Because she literally goes, and I have all three. Yeah, yeah. But you don't know all three. I know you have to have leadership. Did I say something about leadership? Yeah, yeah, that is one. I mean, you have given three guesses now, so I might just give you a third of a point. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take it. It was, yeah, you have to be tough, uncompromising, and a good leader. But she still didn't become dance captain. I was crushed. I knew it wasn't going to happen, but I was like, I'm crushed. <laughs> this is from Marnie Reinecker. Why was the barista that Kenzie helped in season six upset? She has boy problems. All she wanted was to go to the horse show for her birthday. And do you know where her boyfriend took her? Where? Onto her trucks. No. I know. <laughs> because her boyfriend took her took her to monster trucks. Yes, for her birthday. Yeah, good. <laughs> that scene was probably one of my favorite days in season six. Question four is from Stepper X TNS. How did Kenzie greet customers at Shakes and Ladders when she stepped in for the barista? Welcome to Shakes and Ladders. We put the play in your day. The muffins are hot and the shakes are cold. So tell me what you want, because I'm getting old. I keep telling you backstories, but when I was doing this scene, yeah. it took 15 takes just so I could say it right. That's like when you were um, doing the scene with Lily Kingston and Miss Angela as well. <laughs> we should see if hashtag Kingsyton is, you know, what is it? It's, it's already, already a thing. thing. Oh my goodness, I can say my own name. The most embarrassing day of my life. <laughs> it was, I know the ending was, what's your older order because I'm getting old. It started, um, I literally don't know the last line. I know for a fact it was like, you were on the right lines from the beginning. Was I right to, welcome to Shakes, welcome to Shakes and Ladders, where the, yep. Welcome to Shakes and Ladders, where the... Where the something is? I know where it's the something is something. No, this is so bad. Welcome to Shakes and Ladders, where we put the play in your day. The muffins are hot, the shakes are cold. Old. Tell me what you want, because I'm, I'm getting, getting old. old. I remember! Okay, uh, and your final question from fans is from Sweet and Salty Rats Laugh. What number is on Kenzie's lanyard in the escape room episode? I'll read it. Use your manners and ask, please. Just put one foot in front of the other. Was I six or nine or eleven? 
<laughs> you just see the numbers going through your brain. No, it's <laughs> literally just going past. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say... I wanna say nine. I wanna say nine. Yeah, nine. That's correct. Right, your final round and final question is your obscure question. Okay. If you're a legend, get your game face on. What four types of Dance Mania video does Kenzie say that she likes watching in season seven, episode 18? I like the dance videos, the interviews, the behind the scenes, and the fan videos. I like them all. This one? That one. I know bloopers is one of them. Okay. Also, bloopers wasn't one of them. No, bloopers wasn't one. <laughs> <laughs> Auditions? No. <laughs> no. Oh, was it like partner work? No. <laughs> I said this? That's not the most shocking part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said this. Like, the performances? Yes, the dance videos. That's one. I'm even trying to think of guess. <sighs> Behind the scenes, we got dance videos, we got. Um, there's no partner work in like flip no. trick. No, I can give you half a point for what you've got so far if you want. I'll take that half a point. It was dance videos, interviews, <gasps> behind the scenes, and fan videos. Now I remember <laughs> saying that. Okay, you haven't done actually too bad. You've got 13 and a third. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's crazy? I was watching Carter's videos and I'm answering all of his questions. I'm like, how do I know other people's storylines when I don't know my own? Uh, who would you like to try and beat your score? Sage. Okay. I mean, I don't stand Summer anymore, sadly. I but I do stand Sage. I love Sage. Okay, do you want to plug your socials just so people know where to find you and stuff? Of course. Um, follow me on Instagram at underscore Emmy Tinglin. And then on my TikTok and my Twitter at Emmy Tinglin. There's no underscore. And then my YouTube channel at Emerly Tinglin. So follow up. Thank you so much, Emily, for taking part. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I got on the phone with her and I was like, stop. I am the biggest fan girl. <laughs> every single one of her videos, like every single one. I don't know if I've ever roasted Kenzie or said that I don't like Kenzie. I don't think I have. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, no, there was one. I almost cried. Not being dramatic. There, I think it was when I slammed the door <laughs> in Rochelle's face because I'm like, oh my God, guys, I know. It was literally the hardest thing I've ever had to oh. do. And everybody reacted <laughs> the exact same. And I was like, I knew it was coming, but it's fine. I get it. Because when you said that, I was like, oh, she's not going to be happy. Because like two seconds yeah. later, I slammed the door. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope that entertained you. So if you want to take part and be on the leaderboard, anybody at all on the TNS cast, you don't have to be nominated. Um, just let me know. You can DM me on Instagram. And yeah, hopefully we'll have somebody next week as well to take part. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.